What's going on guys, Mikkel here, and in this video I want to get into the XRP price chart. We're at a super critical zone right now that we really need the XRP price to hold if we want to see some explosive price action in the coming weeks. XRP is currently in a massive symmetrical triangle pattern, and we know when XRP breaks out of these, the price gets extremely parabolic. In this video, I'm going to get into exactly what I'm watching and what I expect to play out in the coming weeks. If you guys are new to this channel or come here all the time, make sure you like this video down below and subscribe to my channel. It's really going to help me out so much in the YouTube algorithm and help more people like you see this video. Anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoy it and let's jump right into it. Alrighty guys, so let's jump right into it and I want to start this video by covering XRP on the shorter time frames and then zooming out and taking a larger look at everything we're seeing on the macro scale. We know XRP has lagged in this market and I really want to get into why I think all time highs for XRP are right around the corner. But to start, let's take a look at the shorter time frames and currently XRP is really battling on this bottom support line created by this massive symmetrical triangle. We saw XRP rebound off this bottom support line just the other day and began to move back up towards this ascending channel. It then got rejected and started falling back down and is now currently wicking outside of this support line. Just like I said last time, I fully believe that XRP will get sucked back up inside of this symmetrical triangle pattern. We've seen that every single time XRP has fallen out of this symmetrical triangle through both the pattern we're watching playing out right now and the past one we watched played out the other month or the couple months ago, we saw that every single time XRP came down to this bottom support line, even if it did fall slightly below it, it always ended up getting sucked back into the triangular pattern that was playing out. We can see right now XRP is really at one of those moments, but because of all the past times we saw XRP and how it has responded to these bottom support lines, I am fully confident that XRP will get sucked up off of here and back deep into this symmetrical triangle. What we're really looking for XRP to do in the coming weeks is for XRP to really get pulled up out of here off this bottom support line. We then want to see it move back into this ascending channel right here we've been looking at because that will signal a very bullish event for XRP and I'm going to show you exactly why that's the case right now. If we take a look right here just generally, we can see that after XRP for, uh, crashed down from this top resistance line and first bottomed on this bottom support line, we can see that it popped into the channel, fell out once, popped back into it, fell out again. If we take a look at the last time XRP played out in a very similar pattern, we can see that XRP crashed all the way down to the support line, um, pumped back into the channel, then fell back out of it, pumped back into the channel, then fell back out. This is essentially where we are right now in the current pattern that's taking place. This, is, this means that we are waiting for XRP to continue to mirror this past pattern and that would indicate XRP being sucked up off this bottom support line and back into this ascending channel. We know that after this, XRP historically has then grinded inside of this channel before ultimately breaking out the top of the support to the upside. If we take a look at what that would look like on the pattern we're watching right now, we can see that we had our double uh, double drop out of the channel right here. So then we want to see XRP come back into here, grind sideways before breaking out to the upside. So what does an XRP price breakout really look like? Well, currently we just need to see XRP get off this bottom support line. Once it gets back into this channel, we can really start analyzing where the price will go. But when, you, when we just look at what XRP has done in the past, we know that when XRP was in this much smaller symmetrical triangle, we got a massive pump. We got a pump to over 228% to the upside, and this current pattern we're watching take place right now is actually a lot larger. Therefore, we would expect XRP to pump more than the 230% it pumped last time, and that would put us about at all-time highs. And if we were to pump the same amount, it would be around the $4 range. 
we know that when XRP, the longer it consolidates in a pattern like this, the higher it tends to go. And I could provide you guys a great example of that. If we look actually a couple years ago, XRP actually played out in a crazy symmetrical triangle pattern like we see right here, like I'm showing you right here. It consolidated for about 245 days, which is about the length of a triangle we are currently watching play out. After XRP broke out of this one, we saw the price rally about 1,400%. If XRP was to rally anything close to 1,400%, that would put us at about $17. Now, in my opinion, this is very, this is very, this could very easily be achieved by XRP in the coming months. But a more conservative bet is what I really want to get into here, and I think this is almost guaranteed for XRP to achieve. And it really has to do with a lot of the other high cap, widely adopted coins out there like Bitcoin and Ethereum. If we take a look at Bitcoin right now, we can see that a lot of the selling pressure we're currently watching take place is really coming from Bitcoin retesting its all-time high. XRP has severely lagged this market due to the SEC lawsuit, and therefore any any um, dip in Bitcoin or Ethereum, uh, coins that have a lot of the majority of the market value inside of them, are going to cause a sell-off almost in the entire space. We can see Bitcoin and Ethereum are both currently selling off and retesting their all-time highs. I personally believe as long as Ethereum and Bitcoin are able to remain in this general region that I have drawn out on these charts, then XRP will likely uh, keep sitting exactly where we're looking at at the bottom of this uh, support line on the symmetrical triangle, and we really won't have to worry about XRP falling too far below it. I think once Bitcoin and Ethereum are able to establish a good base here, XRP will have a lot of freedom to really begin to move off that bottom support line and back into the channel we were talking about earlier. Yet, with that said, I really want to just let you guys know that one of the reasons and one of my most important and easiest price predictions I can make off XRP really come from the fact that if we take a look at how high Bitcoin is compared to its old all-time high, we can see that it's trading about 192% past its all-time high previous all-time high from the last cycle. If we take a look at what Ethereum has done since its previous all-time high, we can see that it's at a very similar zone. And let me just move that again so you guys can see it. And we can see that if it was to pump to where it is right now, it's about a 200% pump. And to its high created just a couple weeks ago, it's actually a 250% pump. If we saw XRP to pump to these levels, I think XRP, it would put XRP at about... Oh, my bad, from the all-time high, not where we are right now. It would put XRP at around the 10 to $11 range. I think that as long as XRP is below this range, it is actually heavily undervalued in this market. And that's one of the reasons XRP has been a coin I have been heavily adding to. We know that XRP is a top tier digital asset and really deserves to be valued in a similar way to how Bitcoin and Ethereum are being valued in this market. The market so far has told us that Bitcoin and Ethereum deserve to be trading about 200% past what they topped out at in 2018. Therefore, we are under the impression here that XRP should also be trading in this range. We need to understand that XRP is heavily suppressed right now, so XRP is likely going to take longer to get to this point. Yet despite this, I have no doubt this is going to happen, and I think it's going to happen a lot faster than a lot of people think. If we take a look at the last time XRP really pumped heavy back in 2018, we can see that the price got very parabolic, and for it to actually move, all the way up in that 1,400% rally, we can see that the, it only took XRP about four weeks to do this. Therefore, those who don't build their position on time and wait for the pump to actually occur are going to be priced out very quickly. That's why it's so important to build your positions on dips like this, so that way when the price really starts taking off, you really are able to maximize your profits because you averaged into the corrections 
through this entire consolidation region. It let you to build it would allow you to build a nice large position rather than having to FOMO money in as the price constantly gets more expensive. Anyway guys, if you're still here, I really hope you enjoyed this update. Make sure you like this video down below and subscribe to my channel. It's going to help me out so much in the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much for coming and for now, Mikkel out.